This is a Kalashnikov 762 by 39 with uh, Machine Gewehr Productions. Um, I'm going to show you my uh, recipe for success for the uh, 223 Remington or the 556 by 45 NATO. Um, what this caliber is designed for is to shoot out of the uh, Rock River Arms AR-15. This is a mid-length AR, very beautiful rifle. I'm glad to have it and uh, show you uh, how to load the cartridge and uh, what components may make it up. Now the reason I call this cartridge a uh, recipe for success is uh, the first time we uh, shot this grouping. This is actually, in case you're wondering, uh, is a, uh, a 7 8 inch grouping at uh, 50 yards. This is our first uh, time reloading this cartridge. Uh, first time we took it out to the range and shot it, we shot 5 rounds. They were just test rounds. These ones uh, did extremely well. We tested out uh, different charge weights, uh, bullet weights, and uh, this is what we came out with. And like I said before, uh, we uh, tested out different uh, weights of uh, powders and bullets. And uh, the one that we came out with was uh, this one right here. It shot extremely well, 7 8 inch grouping. First time we did it at 50 yards. Uh, what we used was uh, accurate uh, 2230, AA2230. Um, it's a very good rifle powder. Uh, in fact, it's actually uh, made for the uh, 223 cartridge. And uh, what we used to, uh, as a projectile, we used uh, a Sierra bullet. It's a 22 caliber, um, 52 grain, boat tail, hollow point. Very accurate and uh, very dependable and uh, it packs a punch and um, what we use as a primer is uh, the Remington uh, six and a half uh, small rifle primers one thing that's uh, very important to do is that when you're uh, hand priming them provided that you have a hand primer um, you want to set the primers in deeper uh, as deep as they will go let me say um, the problem is with some loaders is uh, they set the primer way too high and um, you'll notice that when you load a cartridge, especially in a, in a semi-automatic rifle, that when you close the bolt um, and you don't fire that cartridge, you'll pull the cartridge out and you notice that the, pr uh, the primer's been cratered just a little bit to where it didn't fire and uh, you want to look out for that. Um, that's usually a sign of a weak firing pin and if you didn't set the primer in far enough it'll actually detonate the primer and uh, that's called a slam fire. If you... Now another thing that's uh, extremely important to do, this is a 30 round uh, magazine for any M16 or AR-15 rifle. Uh, loaded it with uh, some of my hand loads the full 30 rounds uh, they will all shoot they all shoot cleanly now one thing that's extremely important I'm, I cannot stress this enough this is vital crimp the neck of your bullet and uh, the reason I say that is that um, when uh, your rifle when you fire your rifle your uh, it'll push the next round out and if you don't have that uh, crimp on the neck the rim of the neck will catch on the front lip of the mag, I don't know if you can see that well enough, but uh, here we go. It'll catch on the front lip of that magazine, and it'll push the bullet up, especially if it's going fast enough at a, at a way odd angle, and it'll stick in your chamber at a very odd angle, and it'll cr crush the side of your case head in. This is uh, one of the examples of that. You probably can't see that very well. I'll post a, a picture at the end of this video what it looks like but the side of this case is dented in because it got lodged in the chamber because it wasn't crimped well enough in fact I don't think it was crimped at all and uh, the bolt slammed shut and it uh, lodged in the chamber and I uh, had to pick it out with the, with the cleaning rod it wasn't very fun that's the uh, in fact that's actually the uh, crimping die right there in my press uh, what we use for dies is uh, Dylan. Dylan makes probably the best dies on the market. They're interchangeable. We have an RCBS press, but uh, we use Dylan dies. Dylan dies are extremely good. 
very high quality. There's the um, the uh, primer punching die, the resizing, and uh, also the bullet seating die. Um, uh, like I said, that's the uh, crimping die. And uh, one more thing, you can also, you don't have to use 2230, uh, you can also use Hot Gun H335. Uh, the, it's a little bit more of an expensive powder, but you know, it's pretty good. Um, you can use uh, 25 and a half grains of this and it shoots pretty well. Uh, I'm not sure. It, 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 it functions pretty fine in the AR-15. Uh, it's usually best in uh, bolt-action rifles. But you can use it. Use 25 and a half grains. It, and other than that, that's pretty much it. This is a box of uh, 50 rounds of our hand loads. Open. Uh, all 50 rounds sitting in there like little soldiers. And, uh, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for giving it the time. Haldash Waffenbau.